with the spin cover of Beyonce, um, spin came to me and they said, you know, I mean, Beyonce was obviously, you know, very well established. I mean, sometimes I get to photograph people in the infancy of their careers, which to me is really fascinating because, you know, usually there's not a huge entourage around them and they're just, you know, they're fresh, they're not jaded. And, you know, it's great. And I've been able to, you know, I mean, I photographed Madonna like that in 1983 when I was walking down the street with her, no one even knew who she was. I mean, Brad Pitt like that. Angelina Jolie, I mean, you know, so I, I've been, you know, throughout my career, I've had opportunities to, you know, work with people at that point in their career. Well, Beyonce was obviously very well established when I photographed her, but, you know, she was like a breath of fresh air. She came to the studio, it was just like her mom and her hair and makeup. There wasn't this huge entourage and she was very down to earth and, you know, very into the whole process and she wanted to talk about you know, what we were doing and everything and be a part of it. And you really felt that. And plus, you know, she just gave 100% to every photograph. For the cover, we did other shots of her where we, we built sets with these amazing, like, sparkly backgrounds and stuff and just shot some ambient things around her the studio. But the cover they wanted very strong against white and, like, the tradition of, like, you know, the timeless kind of Vogue covers and stuff. And I have done a lot of white backgrounds. I used to shoot all the covers for Seventeen, for Cosmo Girl, and you know, in style, and it was always like, you know, so I really kind of honed in on my white background skills, and I, I like to, to work with a psych, and I like to work with a, a plexiglass background that's off on some apple boxes built up on a stage, just so when I shoot I get the angle of the white and it, everything bounces and I don't get the shadows. And basically how I, how I lit this, um, was I had the psych and I like to build a tree on one really large stand where I'll put um, two umbrellas with two heads and each of those is lit with their own pack again. Um, on, so on both sides, camera left and camera right, I'll have the tree. And the first light head is up about, I don't know, four or five feet, the other one's up about 10 feet. And sometimes I've even done three if I have to shoot a band and get really far back. And then I'll have another two packs, one on each side, where I had um, 10 degree grid spots, which were aimed just in back of her head to kind of rim her, to give her, you know, that. And some people like to use and aim the umbrellas kind of out or feather the foam core on the outside to give that wash and that light. But I like to do that too, but I also like to hit the back of the person with really strong light so it's really crisp and with an edge and sometimes I'll do it even do it with a strip light but this time it was done with uh, grid spots. For my key light on this shot I like to do a, a fun a fun thing with the key light and um, I took the seven foot giant umbrella it's a uh, silver on the inside and um, I always put a bi-tube in these again it's just to have the maximum amount of power and being able to you know shoot quickly at you know around f16 and um, but on the post, I, right in the center, I mounted the ring light, a ring flash. And I had that on a separate pack. So that, that's about a stop to a stop and a half under the, the bi tube. And it just gives a really nice kind of a, a fill, but a little bit of kick and sparkle. And it's mounted right in the center so that the highlight in the eye is like, you know, it's one highlight, it's not like, but it's an interesting highlight. And I just love the quality. It makes a great sound when it goes off. It sounds really impressive too, which is, you know, always cool. So anyway, that was basically it. That was um, shot. It was just over my head and slightly camera left. I never like to shoot them dead straight on over me. It's just a little bit, just goes, it gives a little turning. And I, you know, didn't really have a lot of fill from below. I mean, you know, she was against white and the white plexi, but you know, cause it kind of has that kind of a hard look, but like a soft look. And you can see the rim is kind of raking across her breast here and across her shoulder to give, you know, give some kind of nice turning. And she has, you know, very dewy kind of glowy skin, which is what I like. For a white background, it just, it wasn't sterile. It looked very, you know, real, very sensuous.